program on Afrat. They do not propagate any religion. They talk about the love of God. They tell us about the secrets that are contained within us, secrets of the universe. First of all, it is important to say that we do not propagate or teach about any religion. To teach about that knowledge through which people find the love of God. When God created all the souls, He asked all the souls, Do you love me? Do you believe in me? All the souls said yes. Then God Almighty showed all those souls, the world and all its pleasures, and many of those souls leapt towards those pleasures. And those souls that chose the world and its pleasures, that was written as their fortune. There were some souls that did not choose the world and its pleasures. They just remained looking at the essence of God. Because they only looked and continued to look at the essence of God, they fell in love with God. Then all those souls, slowly but surely, came into this world. The souls that chose the world and the souls that chose God. And some came into Japan and other parts of the world. Some of those souls came into different parts of the world, and some came into different religions. Some became Muslim, some Sikh, some Hindu, some Jew. Those souls, when they came within the human body, came within this world. They were locked in this body. Now, wherever those souls were found, whichever environment or culture they came in, they tried to find God, or search for that inner journey, um, according to the culture and environment and the religion that they were in. Some people read the Bible, some read the Holy Quran, some searched in their own different ways, but they couldn't find that love that they were searching for. And from those books and the scriptures, they got knowledge, but they couldn't find the love of God, and they didn't actually love God. Of those souls, some then left for the jungles, which image may be the image of God. And there are many people going to the churches, going to the temples and the mosques and the gurdwaras. They did plenty of worship. They made so much effort to find God. But at the same time, they don't realize that these buildings, these temples, these mosques are something that they made with their two hands also. Is there any proof that somebody has actually seen God sitting in one of these places? All these souls, all these different people, in their own different ways, are trying to find God. But to those people that actually found the secret, they actually found God. Now, so many different people, for example, go to the church, and the Gurdwara, and the mosque, and the temple, for so many years, and do that worship. But none of them have found God. And then continuing with that worship, they grow old and then eventually die. Now, there is a knowledge which is contained in all the scriptures and all the people, people of all religions, accept this. 
And because of so many people accept this knowledge, it must be the truth. And that is pertaining to the heart. They all say that God is found in the heart. Now because you, if you all say that God is found through the heart and in the heart, then why do you not search for God in the heart? Those people that sought God in their hearts, they became the friends of God. <laughs>